What's up gamers, gamers, and gamers? My name is John and I am freaking tired as fuck. Honestly, no offense, sorry. Sorry for my language. Um and welcome back to Minecraft Magic Warriors, man. If you guys haven't uh, haven't seen the first video, I recommend you guys go check that uh check that out on the link in the description down below. When we first started the prologue from last time, basically we started the prologue with the main character lost his parent to some evil forces. And he has a shadow friend name. I forgot his name actually. It's been a while since the developer updated this game, which is uh, his name is the Tenkara I N game or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And there's been a lot of changes since the last game. So now there's like a, he's Polish. So there's a Polish option, which is on the left, and there's English for England. Like so, you know, so we get to understand. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are Poland. I'll go for the polling option. If you're English, you know what to do. Disclaimer, this is my first game that I created. It might be so different from the other VN games which will not help you. You need five and fungus. Alright. I like it. I like his logo. It looks pretty dope. Probably him actually. He's pretty, pretty cool. And I liked it. Uh, like This wasn't the hue before back then. Like. Oh, this tutorial, really? That's funny. Credits, extra. Oh, there's an extra button now. Oh, version 2.0. This w These little elements were never here before, so this thing changed along with the little particle effects. But you know what? Enough of me rambling. Let's just get to the story, shall we? Alright, I already did the prologue from before, so let's go to episode 1 since it finally is updated. Alright, hold on. Oh, episode 2 is still on work. Episode 3. Alright, so, so far there's like three episodes. Well, including a prologue, but let us continue from where we left off. A new beginning. Play episode. Wait, what? I didn't see that. I, I, main. Okay, so that's the main character. Oh, that's new. Oh my god, the put into. Alright, oh come on, don't give me that. I'm not responding to stuff. Alright. I like how the hell the music goes well with the setting. I, I really do. I like that. I never imagined things were at end like this. Click that. I don't know what to blame. Bad luck or fate. But I mean, why I won't give my parents back? I need to live on with them. On the next day, we left, uh, we left the cave and started get, uh, going to work for a new town. I have been to, in another town or village. Thought about the new place or people made me feel excited but nervous too. Oh look, there's our shadow friend. Hang on. Alright. Oh, Feeling nervous. Tanter, that's our main character. It's been a while, man. I'm sorry to kind of games. Hey. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Hang on, it's a spirit that wanders. Oh, there you go, you get another explanation of who he is. The spirit that wanders. This world alone. He helps my family. Now he helps me. I don't know much about him, but who knows? One day, maybe he will tell me more about me about his abilities as a spirit. I can possess my body and I can move freely as a ghost and return to my body. Amazing! Magic world knows no limit. I didn't even notice him thinking too much. Oh, that's cool with a little face expression. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Also, I'll be by yourself. Thanks. He's right, I'll be fine. Everyone will help me when things will go wrong. I really like that. That's really cool. You get a different fish expression. Instead of like, you know, the sprites and stuff. This is his own little thing. This is really cool, actually. So, have you checked, in, uh, checked what you have in your back in my bag? Oh, I forgot about that. When I woke up from the unclean consciousness, there was a bag lying next to me. Do you have time to check out what's inside? I might as well do it now. Let's see. Some gold clothes. Whoa! Sword. Demonic sword? Strong weapon. Cool. What else is in there here? 
Book of Magic. Huh? Oh, a crystal. A crystal? I saw it on my shelf in my home. My mom said it's a very special crystal, but she doesn't say why. Da -da -da -da. You know, we have one too. And just like your mom, mom didn't tell me you too. I can feel energy from the crystals. It's somehow familiar. There's a note here. Tanta. Tanta, I want to give you this myself. Well, these events occurred and I couldn't do it. This crystal was in our families for eight for years when somebody turned 18. It was given to him. This is a symbol of love and courage. Remember, we will always watch upon you. I love you, Mom. Aww. Hmm? Are you alright? Yes, no. Uh, do I have an option to save? Let me quick save. Alright, so I I cannot quick save this. Um, I could say no, but I could say yes. I mean, his parents kind of did die in a way. But he does want to move on from him, so I'll just say yes. I have to stay strong. Yeah, there you go, Tanner. Tanner. Oh, so I gotta click on the freaking thing. Besides, I knew that my parents would always watch me about from the book. Are you sure? Yeah. I wanted to cry, but I held it myself. I hid back my crystal and put uh, put uh, put the sword on my back before talking to Aaron. Let's go. I know that town. Uh, that town will be very far. Fortunately, there was lakes with fishes in it, so I had something to eat. At the time of rest, I read, I, read, I read it. I read. I read some. Uh, read the book of magic to learn some unusual spells. A uh, little grammar right there, buddy. Some easy, some difficult. But finally, we arrived. Have arrived. Tanta. Welcome to Akraton. Arcton? Arcton. Welcome to Arcton. Whatever. You know what I mean. Whoa. Arcton. They even had a ship. So this is it. A new beginning for me. But how do we get there? Without warning, Aaron grabbed me and flew me above the ocean. What the? Whoa! When I looked at it, uh, to him, he gave me a smile, letting me know that I'll be okay. Then we landed in the middle of the town. To my surprise, no one has noticed me floating. Is there a spell that makes you fly? How was the, your first flight? It was amazing! I wouldn't be before doing that. It was amazing! I didn't even flew in all my entire life. I'm glad you liked it. So, this is your family town. Yes, a lot of things have changed here. These shops where various uh, potions, weapons, and books are ma of magics. There are uh, houses for sale, or you could stay in the inn for the night. When we were looking around, I saw a note next to the graveland, uh, graveyard uh, entrance. Huh? Due to attacks of uh, Father Shame vill Village, our corpses will be buried here. Damn, that was that was dark quick. It's my village, date five days ago. That means your parents were buried here. I need to see them. Are you sure? I nodded without a second thought. Then let's go. Aww. We entered uh, <clears throat> into uh, the graveyard and looked around. I saw lots of graves of people from my village. I didn't I don't know where they go they are, but my heart knew where to go. I let it guide, guide me and I arrived at my parents' grave. Damn. John Kane Lucy Kane, sixteen seventy through seventeen sixty. I was speechless. I just couldn't say even a single word. I'm in front of my dead parents when they were alive a month ago. I couldn't get all my thoughts together. After a moment, I cast a spell. 
Flos Kresse. I, I don't know how to say that in my head. A flower began to magically appear in my hand, already in the pot. Oh, I placed you in front of the grave, then returned to my spot. I was still trying to hold my tears, but I just couldn't. I'm so sorry. If I can do something back then, I couldn't take this anymore. I don't want to leave anymore. Tan? Tan? Huh? This, this voice? It isn't your fault. I'll always love you. I wasn't dreaming. I heard my mother's voice. Mom? Da -da -da. Thank you. I'll stay strong. That's a promise I won't break. When I wiped my tears, I didn't saw Arion around me. Weird. Where could he go? I told, uh, told the last farewell to my parents and ventured off to find him. Huh. I searched near every gravestone, but there was no sight of him. He could have told me where, but would would be he would be where he will be. Uh, I don't know why I keep fucking that up. When I was about to leave the graveyard, I saw him near the grave. Oh. Now I was standing in front of the grave. I don't know whose this grave was. You don't see it right there. Aaron? In response, I rushed to him. However, when I came closer, uh, my heart stopped. Aaron Hayden. 1598 through 1616. Aaron Hayden. Oh, wait. He died when he was 18. My mind went black. I couldn't believe this. When I turned to see his face, I only saw sadness. Nobody has come to his grave? None remembers him? What about family? Da -da -da. Should I cheer him up? Yeah! I should cheer him up, what the fuck? I should say something. Aaron, I... Don't worry about it. None remembers me, or shall I say? Don't want to remember me. Even my parents back then. What? Don't want to remember me? Remember that I won't tell you about myself. Yes, what about it? I changed my mind. I'll tell you about myself. What? Well, I knew this would come, but not that fast. Aaron, are you sure? Yes. I sat under the tree near the grave and listened to the story. I was born in this village. When I was 12, I discovered the power within myself. I was a sorcerer just like you. Back then, when I was alive. Da da da, no one liked me. I was arrogant and stubborn. I couldn't believe what I'm hearing. I was joking too much, around too much. And then they started not paying attention to me. One day, that day that changed everything. That day of your death. Aaron nodded. And he continues. I ventured off to the forest in hope of finding something to play with. Unfortunately, it was the uh, bandits, and they spotted me right away. Hey, you! Uh oh. Get him! Gotta go, boy! I wanted to teleport back to my town where I could be safe, but. Da da da, I made a mistake that sealed my death. No! Wrong spell! No kid! You had bad luck. It's nothing but a bad luck charm. Oh my god. Damn. Mom, mom and dad found my body and they buried it. Only my parents were coming at my grave, nobody else. Some years later, they also passed out and went, went to heaven. I mean, passed on. Um, went to heaven, but I rem remained on this world. Didn't you why? Then I realized it was my punishment for my actions, for my behavior. I was shocked. Aaron's been through a lot. Without a goal, I ventured to another village, which surprisingly was yours. I found a cave, walked in, and collapsed with tears in my eyes. I screamed, begged for someone to hang me out. Then a woman appeared in the entrance, surprised me. I smiled. Um, he hello? Uh huh? Are you okay? Yes, you could see me. Yes. Can you tell me why are you crying? She was nice to me. I told her what happened, and then she took me to up. Oh, child, you have been through a lot. 
I wish I could help you. Thank you. But who are you? Oh. I'm sorry, my name is Lucy. Turns out the woman was your mom. My mom? So you knew about her and my mom. In what? About him. Why she didn't tell me. Lucy was visiting me very often to spend time with me. She was nice. One day she brought up a baby. There we are. I want you to introduce I wanna introduce you to someone. Huh? It was you when you were a child. Say hello, Tenter. My mom already introduced me to him? Why would I not didn't I remember him? He looks adorable. There you are. Hmm? Please promise me that you'll support him in every decision. What? Please! I couldn't reject her promise. I saw in her eyes that she really cares about you. I'll promise. Thank you. Damn. Then years have passed and this attack occurred. Arion. He went through the hell. But he did this to yourself. His hometown hates him. I couldn't even say something at this moment. Tante. Huh? I didn't deserve to accompany you. Not after I did to everyone. I'll be going now. Be safe. Aaron starts to walk away, leaving me alone. Should I stop him or let him go? Fucking stop him, what the fuck is that? Aaron, wait! Huh? You, can't, you can stay with me. No. I don't deserve- I don't care! T Tante. That's right. I don't- I didn't care what he deserves or not deserve. I can clearly see in his eye that he needs someone right now. Yeah, there you go. Arion. You may have done evil things in the past, but- Wait, what? I thought he made a mistake and just being like stubborn, that's it. But now present- uh, But now is the present. Only counts. Come on, you gotta make sense a little bit, dude. Come on. Uh, ow. You may not realize, uh, realize, but you've changed for the good. Really? Back then, when we flew over the lake, that that was only a few minutes ago. You could, uh, you could just let me go, but you didn't. Da 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 da. Hang on, I trust you more than anyone else. You can tell me everything. Da da da. Thank you. No problem. I hope that lightens him up a bit. Let's go. Yeah. Transition. Now where could uh, could that be that in be? Arion, do you know? Look up! Huh? In a moment I got pushed and fell on the ground. Ow! Arion, what are you? When I looked at Arion, I literally froze. What the I just saw my own body. Then I looked down at myself. I was half invisible. I was a ghost! I took my body and paired it with my sword. Hmm. Interesting. You notice me from behind. I'll give you an advice. Try to be more silent with steps. Whatever, you will die. Not today. The sounds of cl clashing swords have started. Arion paired and dodged every attacks coming towards him. Even I couldn't be that fast. Get tired. You stupid rat. Time to finish this. Suddenly, air floats high to the sky and falls towards the bandit with incredible speed. What the? I don't know how to say that. Kalino Flatus. Whatever. An explosion occurred. I couldn't see because of the dust. Uh, when dust collapsed, I see the bandit laying unconscious and Arion standing next to it. Ah. Not the speed of his pre previous from before, but it was enough. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should be asking that. I'm saying, yeah, I'm fine. Whatever it. Thank God. That was too close. If Arion wasn't there, I could be dead. What about you? I'm okay. He was too slow for me. Anyway, uh, what we, what we uh, will do for him 
with him. We should whip his, wipe his memories off of you so we wouldn't chase you again. You're right, but I don't know any wiping the memory spells. Don't worry, I got this. Aaron got close to the bandit and cast another spell. Memore Ekfluda. I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should do it. I hope that I won't repeat it. That won't repeat. We must leave this area. There may be other bandits. Okay. We got away from the bandit who was still unconscious. Ah, ah. We're safe for now. Thanks, Arion. You're welcome. Now you can return to your body. There we go. Arion. How did you fly back then? You have you've been in my body. Well, you see, flying is my special ability. Special ability? I believe that you can only have it? I see. And what's yours? I don't know. I tried everything, but nothing works. Huh? Suddenly, I didn't feel... I feel good. You mean the ground? What the? Tanta, you're flying. On your own. Help me! Aaron grabbed me and told me how to control it. That was that better. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. Back at my village, I couldn't do that. Hmm. I didn't flew at my village, so this can't be my special ability. I know. Huh? My mom told me about something about special abilities, and this is one. This one is very rare. Special ability. No one possesses it. One very special. Mimic. Mimic. The ability that lets you copy others' abilities if you are closer to them. Mimic. The ability to copy other abilities. You are very lucky though. We need to be very careful. Yeah. Besides, you can't you can teach me to fly. <laughs> okay, I'll teach you. Well, we can call it a day. I need to rest. Tell me when they're in the gym nearby. Actually, it should be about and look at this corner. Now let's go! Wasn't there a bandit in there, didn't you see? Finally, I was sleeping in a comfy bed. This was a crazy day. But then... Oof. Ouch. I think I actually bumped into someone. Whoops. We have a problem. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it off for right here for right now. We're going to find out what's going to happen next time. So without further ado, guys, I hope you guys have a good night. Good evening. Good morning from where from. So peace out and say an air guys. Bye bye.